What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, of course, and you enjoy my content, if you can ring the little bell and buy my soul tub, I super duper appreciate you saying, saying, saying. This is um, November, week two, November reading for Sign of Taurus. This could resonate if you have Taurus in any aspects of your charts. Sun, so Moon, Rising, Venus, or Snow, Moon, Moon, or Jupiter. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't, I pile it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Um, I got two channels in. And so I was meditating on your um, week two of November 2021's reading energy. And the first one I heard, are you going to keep my secret? Is the first one. Are you going to keep my secret? And the second one I heard, um, a feminine energy is about to move on in a huge way career-wise. And um, they are about to be very successful. So um, you plug that in, how that resonates. So um, you plug that in, how it resonates. Um, this could resonate if you have force any aspects of your charts. Um, so moon rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter. You plug it in, how it resonates. So are you going to keep my secret? So that could be somebody going to, are they going to keep your secret? Or are you going to keep somebody else's secret? That's what I'm feeling because energies can, can be reversed. or yeah, that's exactly what I think for the first one. And the second one, I heard a femme energy is about to move on career-wise, and they're about to be very successful. So that could be you moving on if you're a femme energy or a masculine takes on a lot of femme, moving on career-wise, and you're going to be very successful. Or a femme energy or a masculine takes on a lot of femme and you're connected to you that's about to move on um, in new career, and they're about to be very successful. It could be the same career field they were in or you were in or a different one. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. But I heard either it's you or somebody you're connected to, but they're going to be very successful. Um, it sounds like wherever they're going or whatever they're going to do or however that resonates. Okay. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Um, free general reading. So just saying, just saying. If, um, thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. Every like, subscribe, share, unlike, and um, donation. They're very greatly appreciated. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 05. Links in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash up, no Venmo. Just saying, just saying, saying it. Excuse me. Okay. King of Pentacles upright. Three of Wands upright. A Taurus is about to be sought after by a very prominent company soon. Career. And a Taurus is about to seek out someone. Career. Very prominent company. Okay, so you plug it in how that resonates. Okay, well, there you go, Taurus. If this resonates with you, some kind of very prominent company energy for some, you are the Tauren about to be uh, seek, seek out. Is that how you say that? Um, you're about to be seeked out by a very prominent company. So they want you. They want you. It's like headhunting energy. They really want you, want you, want you bad. For some, you are the Tauren in a very prominent company that's about to seek someone out. So... I feel in for the ones of you about to seek someone out and you are the headhunter energy. I feel you are very successful. You're coming up as King of Pentacles upright, man. Um, you can be a masculine or a femme that takes on a lot of masculine energy. Same for the one for and about to be um, seeked out by a very prominent co uh, company. Um, a lot of headhunting energy in here. Um, but I, the one, the torn about to seek out somebody and you are the headhunter. I feel you could be a manager, boss, CEO, supervisor, or a C, you know, like CEO, Fortune 500 company, or just very prominent company energy. However, that resonates. Headhunting energy strong. Either you're being headhunted or someone's headhunting you. Headhunting energy, um, action to headhunt or be headhunted. However, that resonates. Okay. Thank you. 
spirit messages you have signed of Taurus. A Capricorn is about to betray a Taurus in a huge way. Know this. Okay. Whoa. I heard a um, Caps is about to betray a Taurus in a huge way. Know this. Some business aspects. Some secret third parties. Okay. I heard some um, business aspects and some secret third parties. So, uh, Capricorn energy, they could have caps in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid, or Jupiter. Um, if you feel that might resonate with you, I heard they're about to betray you in a huge way, some in business aspects. So, maybe they're going to headhunt your person if you were the headhunter, or that's what I'm feeling for some. Um, or they are going to, um, bet you know, maybe they're your business partner and they're going to betray you, or they're in a competing company um, and they headhunt your person. Um, however that resonates, however that resonates, but um, some kind of betrayal energy. And for some, it's um, like secret third party energy. So it's personal, um, like sexual um, energy, however that resonates. So betrayal would be another partner or partners, however that resonates. But it's some kind of secret third party energy. So I think you both are keeping it secret. You and this caps, I don't think you were like spouses or partners in your Facebook or Twitter or parlay official is what I'm saying. Okay. The moon reverse, princes of cups reverse. A very lazy, very, very, very lazy and unkind, aggressive worker is about to be exposed in your company. You are a position high authority. You're about to handle this. Oh my God, this is terrible. This is terrible. If this <coughs> excuse me, if this resonates with you, I heard a very, very lazy, aggressive worker in your company, in your company. So I'm thinking you're either a manager, boss, CEO, or something of that nature, or you are a business owner. However, that resonates. But a very lazy, aggressive person. My God, that's just um, that's bad. They're lazy and they're aggressive. So they're lazy and they get mad when they get called out because they're lazy, basically. Is what it sounds like. Uh, hopefully not verbal. I mean, hopefully, hopefully not physically aggressive. For some, they could be. But I heard you're about to handle it. You are about to handle it. So you're either the owner of the company yourself, or you are um, a manager, boss, CEO, supervisor, S type energy. Um, the secrets are coming out regarding this lazy, aggressive person. It could be masculine or femme, aggressive person. They're coming off as a feminine energy, but they could be a masculine. It picks on a lot of femme or a femme. Uh, very unloving, ungiving, unkind towards the work situation. So I feel they're not performing their job duties. They are not, um, they're not performing their job duties. I feel they think they're entitled and they're selfish. And they're obviously lazy and aggressive, according to spirit. Um, so th I think they get called out when others try to motivate them to do their job and fulfill their job duties. I think they get aggressive and um, because they are lazy. Um, but I think secrets are getting out to you regarding this person, whether it's a femme energy or a masculine picks on a lot of femme energy, and you are about to come handle it. So you are a position of high authority in some shape, form, or fashion, manager, boss, CEO, or supervisor, um, to this lazy, aggressive person, worker energy, um, or the owner of the company yourself. Uh, for some, you can be dealing with Pisces because it's Piscean energy, um, or not. You plug it in how it resonates. About to handle it in a huge way. 
has gotten too far. This person definitely thinks they're entitled. Oh my God, I heard about to handle it in a huge way. It's gotten too far. This person, person definitely thinks they're entitled. So it sounds like you are about to handle it here, Taurus. You're about to handle it because I heard this person thinks they're entitled and they're lazy and aggressive and they don't want to do anything. They want to get paid, but they don't want to do anything, basically. They don't want to earn their money. Um, and you're basically, the secrets are coming out to you. So I think it's going up the chain of command. I think you are high in the chain of command and you're about to come handle it yourself um, and handle business. Um, yeah, that's exactly what I think. You plug it in, how it resonates. Totally correct. Let's do one more. Share messages you have sign of course. Six of Cups, Princess of Wands, Upright. A Taurus is about to find out about a feminine energy that used to be in their company that's about to get a wonderful opportunity. They know this person will be very successful. And they're right, they will be. It's going to leave this Tauren very, very, very emotional. Very up in their feels. They know they lost a good one. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates with you. Um, a lot of work energy in here. A lot of business and work and headhunting energy in here. A lot. You plug it in how it resonates. Um, but this is somebody, if this resonates with you, somebody that used to work in your company. So you could be the owner of the company or manager, boss, CEO, supervisor, or even a coworker, a former coworker of this person. But um, you knew about this person. They were in your company in some shape, form, or fashion, whether you were HR, whether you were uh, corporate, whether you were the owner of the company, or whether you were a coworker and worked alongside this person. How this resonates. But I heard you're about to find out. You're about to hear. It sounds like there's grapevine. Um, that this person has um, got offered a wonderful opportunity elsewhere. It sounds like a different company, different place, different situation, different business, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I heard, you know, they're an awesome, that they will do awesome. And I heard from Spirit, they will. Um, and it's going to leave you very, very, very emotional and up in your feels. Basically, when you find out this person has got offered this wonderful opportunity, I heard it was a wonderful opportunity. So I'm assuming good perks, good pay, good benefits, good position, um, probably good respect if they do well. I heard they will do well. Um, they, they're coming off as a fire sign energy. This is you being up in your feels when you find this out. Um, and they're coming up with the fire sign energy, lots of desire, drive, and motivation towards this career opportunity. I feel it is career path oriented. I don't feel it's just a fill in the blank space kind of job just to get them through until they move on kind of energy. I feel it's an actual career path oriented job. I heard it was a wonderful opportunity. So it is actually professional career orient oriented opportunity. Um, but they have lots of desire, drive, and motivation towards this new opportunity. They're coming in as a princess in their energy, which is like the night energy in the tarot. So they could be 18 to 25 or 18 to 35-esque or just take on, um, I don't feel they're mentally immature. I feel this is um, them having lots of desire, drive, and motivation, like lots of energy towards the, energy and drive towards the, um, position for lots of motivation towards the position lots of i think it's going to pay well i didn't hear that but i feel it's going to because energetically they're showing up lots of desire drive and motivation so if it's going to pay well i'm sure they're and they have lots of motivation and energy towards the position i'm sure they're going to put all their blood sweat and tears into it i heard you know they're a good um you missed a good one basically because you used to deal with them in some shape form or fashion so um, I don't feel this is mentally immature energy is what I'm trying to say. I feel this is, um, they are young. They're young at heart energy and they're going to put all their desire, drive and motivation and heart and soul into this because they know it's a good opportunity and you know, you lost a good one. And that's whether you were working alongside them or you work around them or you were 
over, the, you know, or you were their boss or you were their manager or their supervisor or CEO or you worked in corporate and you know about their work, etc., etc., etc. You plug it in how it resonates. All right, let's get some tea leaves. Spirit messages you have for sign of Taurus. A Taurus is about to find out some news on a very toxic Libra soon. This Taurus never thought they would uh, they would deliver important information, betraying information on this Libra, but they're about to. Okay, so you plug it in how that resonates. So you have pulling toxic Libra energy in here that can be masculine or feminine Libra. I'm going to go turn the light on. I'm sorry, y'all, it's so dark. Okay, so sorry. Um, yeah, so toxic Libra energy. Um, it can be masculine and feminine well, Libra. They can have Libra in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine, and Jupiter. But I heard you're about to hear some, um, it sounds like negative news regarding this Libra. You dealt with them in some shape, form, or fashion in the past, it sounds like. It doesn't sound like you deal with them now. But I heard, it sounds like once you learn this news, I heard you're about to betray them in a huge way. So I think you're going to, excuse me, you're going to display other new, um, I heard you're going to display information you never thought you would display on them. So I think once you hear this negative information, you're going to deliver the past information that you knew you never thought you would display on them. Is what I'm feeling. But you plug it in, however that resonates. You know they have declined in a huge way. And you are right. No coming back. Okay, I heard you know they have declined in a huge way. No coming back. So you know this Libra has declined in a huge way. So either their health has declined or their mental has declined or their money has declined or something has something or their career has declined or something has declined. Either one or all those things or something else. Something huge has declined in their life in some shape, form or fashion. Um, I heard no going back. So it's something so severe that it's like no either... It's going to take a long, long time to recover or um, or they will never recover from it, however that resonates. But I think that will be the catalyst as far as you um, revealing this information of the past as well, too, possibly. You plug it in, how that resonates. And you have broken bridge, energy, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. I think that's with this toxic Libra of your past. Um, and it could, let's see. And it could be with this lazy, aggressive worker, too. That could be the unsuccessful um, outcome to a problem as well. Because it, it sounds like this person is so bad. Um, I don't think this is a Libra energy because the Libra energy is somebody your past. This is somebody your present. It could be this person, too. Because uh, I think you're going to have to come down and fire them. So I think... Um, that could be that as well. You're gonna have, it sounds like you're going to have to terminate them. I didn't specifically hear that, but that's my intuitive logic and reasoning on this. And then it could be the um, Libra your past as well, possibly. Yeah, and the other is headhunting energy, yeah. And this could be with the Capricorn, too, because you have a Capricorn energy you're drawing in here that's about to betray you in a huge way. Some in a secret, toxic third party situation and some in a um, business situation. A particular Taurus is about to deal with the taxing authorities in a very negative way. And some of these torrents are ill. It's going to be very stressful. Oh my God, this is terrible. You plug it in, how that resonates. This is terrible. I'm sorry to whoever this is for. This is terrible. So um, some of you guys are going to have to deal with the taxing authorities. I heard in a negative way, a very negative way. And for some of you guys, you're ill and having to deal with these uh, the taxing authorities. So it's going to make it more stressful. So that could be the unsuccessful outcome to a problem as well. Um, 
you're not only going to have to deal with the debt, I think you're going to have to pay some kind of fine. I didn't hear that. That's why I'm thinking. I think you're going to have to pay some kind of fine for some. For some, you might have to pay back a large amount of money. For some, um, that's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm feeling. But some kind of negative energy towards taxing authorities in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, and some of you guys are ill, and that's going to make it more stressful on you. Wishbone, I wish is granted. A torn is about to get offered a surprise vacation. Some, uh, un, a surprise bonus in their company. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Well, this is good. So some of you guys are going to get offered a surprise vacation and some a su um, surprise bonus in your company. So a wish is granted. That could be the surprise vacation for some and some a surprise bonus in your company. Um, well, you plug it in, how it resonates. That's great. Get back to the basics. A particular water sign is about to get a Taurus severe hail. It'd be very smart to stand up to this water sign. Very spoiled. Okay, I heard a water sign's about to give a Taurus hail. It'd be very smart to stand up to this water sign. So water sign fem energy, because I heard her. Um, or it could be masculine takes on a lot of fem. But I strongly feel for a lot of you guys it's fem. I heard she's going to give you, she's very spoiled. And um, and you can be masculine or fem, that resonates with you. But it's a fem water sign. I heard um, she's going to give you a lot of hail. So, and her, her, she's very spoiled. So, um, I heard to be very smart to stand up to her. So, get back to the basics. Basically, put her in check. Stand up for yourself and don't let her run over you is what I'm feeling. And that could be in personal. That could be in professional. That could be in business. You plug it in how it resonates. Uh, she could, um, that fem energy could be uh, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. They could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or fem, and hammer, Jupiter. Let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. All right, you guys. Well, we're done. I love you guys so much. I hope this helped. Um, hopefully, I can get back on track and we'll do week three. Just saying. Love you guys. Everybody have a wonderful um, November and namaste.